back to my channel and today's video is going to be the products that I've used up for the month of January yes that's right January I am so behind um, like I explained in the winter announcement video um, I've been ill and so I've kind of gotten behind on my videos so anyway without further ado let's start digging through my trash so the first thing I have are a couple of little poofs. Um, I get these at the Bath and Body Shop and I use these in my shower with my shower gel. I like them from the Bath and Body Shop the best because they have a little bit of a texture to them so I feel like I get some exfoliation to my body when I'm using them. So I have those. I had one in my shower and one in the master bath so those are done. Then I have a packet of makeup remover wipes. This is the 5th Avenue Fashion Street Aloe Vera um, wipes. And I got these at Big Lots. I did not like these. I don't recommend these at all. They, they weren't good. Don't buy those. Don't waste your money. Then I have this product here that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. It's not completely empty, but I'm done with it. This is the um, Blender Cleanser. This is the cleanser, liquid cleanser that's supposed to be specifically for your beauty blender. This stuff was not good at all. Um, I don't even waste your money or your time with this. You will be cleaning your beauty blender for days if you try and use this. It's not good. Not good. Then my, one of my holy grail, not holy grail, but favorites of 2015 was my Kerastase um, Elixir. This is a hair oil, and I definitely will be repurchasing this. One of my favorites, but I'm going to wait until I use that. My um, It's a 10 Miracle It's a 10 product um, that I featured on my Use Up in 2016 video. I have a little shower gel from... Uh, who is this? Soap and Glory. This is the Clean on Me. And yes, I really, really do like this. This smells so good. I love the smell of this. This was just a little travel. So I definitely would purchase this again. I did like that. Then another shower gel is from Caress. This is the Scarlet Blossom, the Fine Fragrance Elixirs. This is the Red Lychee and Patchouli. It was okay. It's not anything that I'm going to be repurchasing, but it was fine. I don't even know if it's even available because I've had it for so long. Then I used up my Sephora Makeup Cleansing Oil. Um, this is the Supreme Cleansing Oil, and I do like this very much. Um, I liked the scent of it. It reminded me of fresh snapped peas. So if you've ever snapped peas, right out of the garden. It kind of had that earthy, fresh scent to it. But anyway, I did like this and I would repurchase. Finished up a Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter. Just a small little guy here, but it took me a long time to go through it because I don't, I don't like using lotions. I just don't. But it smells really good. I liked the smell of it. It was good moisturization. There was nothing bad about it. I just don't like lotions. That's all there is to it. I have another one of my little Shiseido um, Super Exfoliating Disc, and I've talked about these lots of times in my videos. Like those, found those at um, Marshalls. So if you see those at Marshalls, definitely pick up a pack. And I think this is the last um, package of my cotton balls from Ulta. And like I have stated in the past, I will be going back to the cotton rounds. I like those better than the actual cotton balls. Um, oh, there's more in here. Oh, here's a little guy that I finished. This is the Dermaputics Hyaluronic Lift Serum. And I found this at um, TJ Maxx for $10. And I definitely would repurchase this. I do like this. This this brand, this Dermaputics, is a really good brand. Um, it's not expensive. You can find it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, different places like that. And it's a good product. <coughs> then, 
excuse me, I finished a eyeshadow. This is from Milani, and this is the um, the Bella White eyeshadow. And I finished that all up. So, and I would repurchase this, but I have some Mac eyeshadows that you would have seen in my Use Up 2016, and they do the same thing as what this does. It's a great all over the lid eyeshadow so I'll be using those instead of repurchasing this but if you want a um, inexpensive eyeshadow that's really good for highlighting um, on the the brow bone inner quarter this is good okay what is this this was the um, Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation um, I, I won't be repurchasing this just for the fact that I have so many foundations that I need to use up. Plus this was in the color. What was in this color? What was this color? I can't read it. I can't read it. Um, but anyway, it's a little bit too yellow for me, so I won't be repurchasing that. Then I have the deluxe sample size or travel size of the Origins Checks and Balances um, face wash. This was a good face wash. It was definitely something that I enjoyed using and would consider purchasing at some point in time. Just have, same old story, I have more face washes that I need to use before I, I make another purchase of that. And then we have here a um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. This is a good primer. I do recommend it. Um, if you're looking for a primer that's good, I would recommend that. Give it a shot. And then I have the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Resurfacer Steps 1 and 2. This was a little sample that I got from Sephora. Like using those and would and would purchase those for sure. I also finished this little um, Ola Henriksen Three Little Wonders Professional Strength AM and PM Regime. That was for seven days. And it had in here the Truth Serum, the Sheer Transformation, and then the Invigorating uh, Night Treatment. Um, the, tr the Sheer Transformation was a moisturizer. It did not have enough moisturization for me. Um, but it was okay, but I really did like the truth serum and have actually a small bottle of that that I'm using right now This right here was from Sephora. This was one of their little um, Sleeping mask in the rose and this was a little pod and this little pod was like four dollars and You can actually get like three uses out out of this So it was a really good buy and I did enjoy using that I like this better than I liked the actual sheet mask in the rose. Let's see. Oh, finished up one of my um, brow pencils, the micro brow pencil from NYX. And this was in the color chocolate. And this would will be a repurchase. A little travel size or a little sample size of the Mario Podesco Glycolic foaming cleanser it was it was okay um, not I didn't like it as well as I liked the origin so I would pick the origins over the the Mario Badesco have a little eyelash glue this is the duo eyelash glue and um, this is the dark tone it's not empty but I hadn't used it in so long that it's gone bad so we're getting rid of it then I have a mask from Fresh. This is the Rose Fa Rose Face Mask, and yes, I did like that. I enjoyed using it, and would like to have another sample. I don't think I would buy the full size of it, um, but I would like to have some, you know, another sample size of it. So if there was a kit that was available that had that in there, that I would be willing to get that kit. Then I finished this here. This is from Kate Somerville. This is the Exfolicate. This is one of my favorite exfoliation products to use. Highly enjoy this. Um, this was a 100 point perk from Sephora. will definitely use my points on these anytime they're available. I do very much enjoy using this exfoliation. 
Her voice is getting ready to go. So we're going to wrap this up with some mascaras. I have the Sephora mascara. This is the Outrageous Curl. And I really did enjoy using this mascara and would definitely think about repurchasing it after I get through some of my other mascaras. But I liked it because it had this little wand on it where someone with small eyes like myself, this really worked wonderful because I could really get in there and get all my lashes that I needed to coat without getting it on my eyelid or feel like I was going to come in and stab myself in the eye with my brush. So I do like that. Would definitely repurchase. This right here was no. I would not repurchase this. This is from MAC. This is the Zoom Fast Black Lash. This stuff was horrible. It was so wet. It never did really dry enough to where you could use it. It would get everywhere and it would flake horribly. So I do not recommend that at all. Now this one from MAC was fairly decent. This is the Oh lordy, I don't remember. I'll put it in, I'll try to remember to put it in the description box or put it right here, what this one is. But I did like using this and felt like it was pretty good. Okay, that wraps up my empties for the month of January. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.